Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're starting off this week's vlog with wet hair, which I will explain in a moment, but I'm so excited. I feel like we have not had a week in my life in a good bit, so it's gonna be fun to just do daily life together. I'm currently sitting at my vanity that we made together a few vlogs back, which is really fun, so if you missed that, be sure to check it out. That was a really fun time and I know you guys really enjoyed it too. Rest assured, it is an absolute wreck already. It's completely disorganized. So I already need to reorganize it again, but there's no shock there. Anyway, it's Monday. I've spent the morning working and just getting a lot of stuff done so that we could just hang out together on the vlog. And tonight, me and Sam are doing half price sushi. So we're gonna have a little date night. And then the rest of the week is gonna be a little tiny bit chaotic. So our builders for our home left some things unfinished. I've mentioned this before, so I'm not gonna dive into it too much, but they're coming to fix it all Wednesday and Thursday. So we're gonna have people in and out all day long. We're also watching my brother and sister-in-law's dog, Nico. He's a French bulldog. So him and Teddy have just been playing constantly but it's been great because they wear each other out which is so nice so he'll be with us this week and then we're going to do a lot of fun things in this vlog the first thing we're going to do is open my dyson air wrap hence why i have wet hair and then i also want to go to the library and get a library card because we just got our driver's license in the mail from tennessee so we are officially tennessee mm -hmm. residents which means i can go get a library card which means that i can download the libby app which is like the app that all libraries use and they have audiobooks on there and that's what I've been wanting. I got a new laptop so we got some new accessories for that so it's just gonna be a catch-up vlog. I brought you guys over to my sink because I wanted more room to do this so I took the Dyson out of the box so we're gonna open it together. I'm so excited. I did get this for my birthday which was October, November, December, January three months ago. Um, I have this thing where I get anxious about opening things that are expensive or taking the tags off or whatever it may be because I get worried that I'm going to be stuck spending that money, which makes no sense, especially because this was a gift. It was a gift from my family and my husband for my birthday, which was so sweet. So anyway, the time has come. I'm so excited. Plus, I've been saving to open it with you guys. So my mom has a Dyson, so I know I will love it because I use hers all the time, especially when we were living with them. You guys might remember, maybe not, that I had actually bought the Shark Flex Style. If you didn't know what that was, it's their copycat version of the Dyson. And I've used it for a good bit and the curls never held in my hair and it cracked fairly quickly. Like it just feels much cheaper. So I honestly didn't really use it that much, which was really sad. The body. It looks so nice and new. We have the smoothing dryer, the barrels, firm brush, soft brush, and round volumizing brush. But what do they do? We're gonna try and use this one to start. I wanna make sure that these pieces up here don't curl. That's my main concern. Let's test this baby out. Probably should plug it in. Wow, so what's the difference? Okay, I just use this kind of generally more up here and my hair looks so poofy. Um, I clearly don't understand how to use this. Once I get the hang of it, I can see how that would be a really great tool. Now I'm gonna use the barrel, which is what I really wanted the Dyson for. And let's see the results. let it hold its shape. I'm so excited to be using this again, but I've already sprayed some hairspray. I'm gonna spray a little bit more because this stuff is so lightweight, which I love, but it's the weightless hairspray. It's amazing. Once it calms down, it always looks so much better. My curtains just got delivered. I'm so excited. I'll be doing another like decorating our home video like I did last week, but look, these are like the best quality curtains. I'm so excited. We are in my office right now and I finally got a new laptop. I've had my laptop since 2018, which isn't that long for if you run like normal things, but I run such, I don't even know what the technical word is, like heavy platforms to edit videos. And my computer 
wasn't even functioning like it was always lagging and I'd get the rainbow wheel so I finally got one and I'm like why didn't I get one sooner it's amazing so I ordered the most adorable case from Etsy how cute I was like oh, I really want a cute case and Amazon just wasn't doing it for me so I found this one on Etsy and it was on sale so I grabbed it I felt like it was so just like precious and cute well let's put it on together Honestly, how cute is that? <gasps> Adorable. Also, comment down below if this stresses you out. Oh my goodness, I need to clean this up. It's so bad. Glad to have this all beautified. It's very, very cute. I love it. I'm drinking the last bit of my coffee from this morning and it's like 3.30, which is questionable if I should still be drinking this. But we're gonna have an early dinner tonight, so I'm trying to figure out what to do in the meantime. I'm thinking there's a few things I can do. You get a little bit more work done, which is probably what I should do, but not what I feel like doing. I could read my book I've been loving, or I can see if Sam wants to watch Big Brother right now. I have been hooked on Big Brother a long, 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 long time ago. Like back in, I think like 2012, 2013, I was first introduced to Big Brother from my cousin and her and her Nana were like obsessed with it. And so one summer we watched it together and I loved it, but then I just like, I don't know, my family wasn't a big TV family, so I just didn't really watch it. We might not have even, did we have cable? I don't know. And if you guys remember, from my college days, me and my roommate Reagan were obsessed with Survivor. It's all we could watch. I love Survivor, one of the best TV shows. And she was talking with me the other day and she was like, you need to watch Big Brother. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot. I used to love that show. So I got Paramount Plus and I have been obsessed. I've already watched two seasons i'm on my third season i think i'm on like season 15 i don't know i can't remember i'll put it on the screen and sam has always been like why are you watching that that's so dumb but then yesterday he sat down and he was like wait this is kind of good and i was like uh i know it's got everything i love in a tv show competition blind sides like secret alliances and then the drama it can actually make me anxious if it's like I don't know very personal drama if that makes sense like I can get kind of sad for the people or like hurt for people whatever but the more fun game type drama I love I eat it up so that's been my current favorite thing how about I work and watch Big Brother that sounds like a really good idea I think that's what we'll do Time to get ready for our date night. I'm unsure what to wear because I totally could wear a sweatshirt, but sometimes I like getting dressed up. <sighs> What's the weather? Let's start with that. It's 44 degrees. That's pretty cold, so it's only gonna get colder. This is my go-to sweater, so I'll probably wear this. I feel like I always struggle with like what pants and shoes to wear. Sometimes I wish that skinny jeans were in style because I feel like the shoes to wear with skinny jeans were so much easier, whereas shoes to wear with like kind of loose fitting jeans are just kind of harder, though I do love loose fitting jeans. I don't know. It's just a struggle. Okay, I'm going to get dressed. Don't look. <laughs> that was stupid. Don't really love my outfit. I can already tell you Sam's going to hate the socks. It just doesn't look good, does it? I'll change the shoes. I think it's the shoes. Yeah, it's the shoes. Let's put different shoes on and then we'll go. Date night OOTD. This cardigan is from Thread Up. It's wool, so it's super thick and warm. And it's by Madewell. Shirt is by ASOS. ASOS? I don't know how you say it. Also from Thread Up. Jeans Madewell. These boots are from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And then my long champ bag. And that's it. Definitely cuter than what I had on before. Destroyed it completely. Sam's just watching. <laughs> We're back from our date night, and I am in my robe because I'm about to take my nightly bath. I love and look forward to this part of my night every single night. I haven't really talked about this on here recently, 
but since probably since our move i've been having a lot of pain flare-ups again and this is something i dealt with like a few maybe a year before then um that i had to get on a really strong medication to help with and so i was really scared when i had those flare-ups again and i've just been dealing with it on and off and then at the start of this month of january it has just been so terrible it has been chronic to say the least like it has affected my day-to-day -day life and i have issues with my muscles to where it's pinching a nerve um, is what we're pretty sure is what's going on. It's what I've had in the past. All that to say, my baths really, really help because one, it's a way for me to de-stress and relax. And I've been using Epsom salt and it's been working wonders. I specifically use fragrance free because I try to avoid fragrances where I can. I just dump this in there and sit there for a while. And so it's helping me mentally, physically, it's been great. If you're wondering, I'm upstairs in our like hall bathroom upstairs because it's the only one with like a tub for a bath. So I make my way upstairs every night and take a bath down here. I literally don't even have a shower curtain and I don't have a proper knob. This is one of the things on the list that they need to come fix. So I literally have to like go like this. It's so hard to like get it turned. <laughs> orange theory at nine so i need to leave here in the next like 10 minutes which means i need to get dressed and get going i have started making an americano in the morning because i feel like a latte is just so heavy um so i do an americano with like a touch of half and half and i feel like i'm able to just like feel better whenever i'm running it's really running that like i just feel a little bit heavy and i try my best to chug a ton of water if you follow me on instagram then you know i posted a video about how i've been getting back into orange theory again i used to do orange theory and if you don't know what orange theory is it's like a workout class and you pay like a monthly fee and you get like a certain amount of classes or you could have like an unlimited um membership i've done it for two years with my college roommate reagan is that the second time i've mentioned her in this vlog so once we moved here i was like i've got to get back into that so I've gotten back into it and I'm loving it. I really am as much as like, I also hate it. Like the last thing I want to do this morning is work out, but it's been so good for me, but I need to get going. Oh, I just remembered that my, let me go. My wrist, my heart monitor was on low battery. So I need to go charge that even though I only have like five minutes now, but I'm going to get dressed and get going. OOTD for the gym. Everything I'm wearing is Lululemon, but they're items I've had for years and years. This tank top I got probably two years ago. My favorite style of tank top from them. This one's the cropped length. I like the longer length, but I don't think I realized I got the cropped length. And then I'm pretty sure these are their Wonder Unders. I've had these since my freshman year of college. And then I actually just recently got this sports bra. It's like a cute design. I got it from the Lululemon outlet when we were in Georgia. Um, I'm not kidding. I think it was like $15, which is cheaper than you could get at like Target. And then I'm going to throw on my Hoka's and then we'll head out the door. I'm probably late because I've been filming, but let's go. for the day i've made my latte and i made lunch i had an egg salad sandwich and it was so good i forgot how much i love egg salad i put some avocado on there it was delicious so let's go over my to-do list today i want to go to lululemon i need another sports bra i shouldn't say need it's like in between a need and a want i have three right now but i feel like another one would be really useful this is like a pretty niche problem that i have but let me know if you guys have this issue too i have a pretty broad like 
back not really back i don't know and my rib cage also sticks out pretty far um that actually used to be an insecurity of mine whenever i was younger i felt like my rib cage was just as big as my boobs and i was always like i have two sets of boobs i don't really care as much anymore anyway so because of that i feel like i always need a larger size in my sports bras because i just need the band to not be so tight so i found that i really know my size with lululemon for sports bras i'm so picky about it like if it feels too tight i start feeling really stressed so in lululemon i'm like a size 8 in sports bras which i could almost be a size 10 because i feel like the 8s are kind of tight on me and then in bottoms i'm like a size 4. i have a hard time finding ones that fit properly because typically the larger size sports bra you go the larger the cups also get. So I know with Lululemon, a size eight works for me in both areas. That's the fun thing I wanna to do today. Then I need to tidy up the house. It's just a mess. We've already vacuumed this morning and Teddy's hair is everywhere. I think because him and Nico have been playing so much, it's just bad. Sam will be playing golf at the PGA Superstore. So I think I'm gonna run over to my brother's house tonight and check up on his house he's currently renovating and we picked out countertops for his house and i want to see what they look like inside of the house because if i like them i think they're going to be the same ones i pick for whenever we change our countertops here soon and then i want to sit down and plan our laundry room and get some things ordered because i'd love to do that project this weekend we'll see i don't know if things will come in time but that's something i really want to get on top of and then we'll cook dinner together i'm gonna be making butter chicken tonight with some naan bread it's gonna be really good so after my workout I ran to the store to go get some tomato paste because that's what I needed. But that's the plan for today. So let's clean up and then we'll head to Lululemon and then we'll do everything else on our list. Let's do a small Lululemon haul. So fun story. I always start in the clearance rack because I knew I wanted a sports bra. I don't really care what they look like because it's under something. So I always check the clearance rack and I saw a pink sports bra on the clearance rack that I could see that looked the exact same as the ones that were on the wall for like full price. And then I went and looked at the price tag, it said sale price $49, but then you can see the original price and it was $48. I was like, so it's a dollar more, I'm confused. So I went up to the lady and I was like, hey, this says everything I just explained. And she was like, weird, that's not even supposed to be on clearance because look, they're all over there in the full price section. So I was like, okay, I was really hoping it was on clearance because I thought it was really cute. Then I went over to the full price. I was like, okay, I'll get this really pretty light blue one. I was in line and she came over. She was like, hey, I actually figured out this is on clearance and it should be $39. And I was like, I'll take it. So I took it and then I get to the register and then she was like, wait, actually it's $34. And I was like, could this get any better? So I got this beautiful light pink sports bra, stunning for $35. It doesn't say the color, but these are my favorite from them. The ones that are the like flow Y ones. I like that it's a pretty thin band right here. I just spent my drive home talking to Reagan. I was just catching up with her. And then I was talking with her about Big Brother and how much me and Sam have been loving it because she got us onto it again. It's about three o'clock. I'm gonna work the rest of the day and then we'll cook dinner together and then head to my brother's. Dinner is served. I did not realize that Sam's like time for golf was at six. I was already starting dinner and it's like a timely thing. So I'm eating now, he'll eat whenever he gets home. So I'm just gonna chill, watch TV. I think the non bread turned out okay. Let's take a bite, see how it is. I feel like it's really hot. Mm, it is really hot, hold on. Very good. I'll leave the recipe linked down below if you're interested. It's really easy to make and very delicious. Sam is home. He's wrapping up work right there. 
and kitchen is all clean we're wrapping up the night and i wanted to show you guys so any chance i can get i always try to make my life easier for the future when it comes to cooking i almost halved the non recipe because i knew we wouldn't eat that much but then i thought wait i could just make it and freeze it like as if you were to buy it from trader joe's but with better ingredients because i made it so that's what i did and i froze them for like 40 minutes individually so that they wouldn't stick together whenever they're frozen together um that way we can just pull one out and i did cover them in butter cilantro and salt because it's so good i'm thinking tonight we're gonna watch a movie and cozy up also didn't go to my brother's because he called me and said maybe we can do it tomorrow he was just having a busy day babe what'd you think of dinner great <laughs> that's good yeah very good on the make again list or no yes but he decided to get it the rest of us to frankie so that frankie could see photos of his grandfather which is like actually really sweet the target is saying that Good morning from me and daddy. Today's gonna be a fun day because we're going to the library. We're gonna go get a library card and hopefully set up my whole Libby app and just like get all that figured out. And I've also never been to this library, but before we go, I'm going to throw our sheets in the wash, which is why my bed isn't made. And then I think tonight we're actually gonna go to my brother's house. I think, I think we moved that to tonight. I put this cutie little bow in my hair, super affordable from Target. And then this top is actually from Vineyard Vines. Um, it's like a wool like sweater and it's so, so cozy. And then I'm wearing my Abercrombie jeans and then I'll throw on my Uggs. It took everything in me not to tuck this into my jeans. Does anybody else struggle with that? Like I know it's not in anymore. I feel like I relate way more with millennials than I do Gen Z with how I want to dress and like just my overall instincts to things. And I feel like it's like known as like the millennial tuck, but I'm like, how else do you not look frumpy? But I think frumpy is in. I mean, I guess it's cute. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I forgot to mention that I have a workout today at 3.30, so I just need to be back before then. And it's a different workout than I've done before. It's the Strength 50 workout at Orange Theory, which essentially is just that you're lifting weights for the whole hour, for the whole class. So I'm excited to try this. I had an extra class since one of my classes got canceled for the snow, so I thought it'd be fun to try. So I'll let you guys know how it goes, two workouts in a row, and then I'm working out again on Friday. But let's get these sheets in the wash, tidy up, and then we'll go to the library. The best. A local coffee just sounds perfect, so let's go grab a latte. to see from the moment we arrive Cornelia you are one who will survive Good news is I got my library card. Bad news is they didn't have the book I was hoping to check out. That's okay, cause whenever we get home, I'm gonna set up my Libby app and hopefully I can check out books on my Kindle and listen to the audiobooks. I'm so excited, so let's go home. Let's go to the app store and get the Libby app. My library card. Okay, so I'm glad we got that all set up. I need to think through what books I wanna go ahead and put on hold, cause I feel like the whole times take a while, which is maybe the negative thing about Libby if you're wanting to read a popular book, but maybe if it's not so popular, you can get it right away. And of all I should have done. The bed is half made, I am ready to go work out. It's that time of the month. I literally don't feel like going to work out, I don't feel like doing anything, but I know this will be good. Weightlifting, am I right that it's good to do that on your period? 
like you can work out according to like your phases um and i feel like weightlifting is good during your period anyway and then my hokas per usual so whenever i get back i will finish the duvet and the bedding to be honest i did not feel like doing anything just been super crampy but i was able to clean up some things make the bed and i'm so glad i did because i'm gonna thank myself later <laughs> that i did it and push through the pain all right i just finished up clearly that got intense because i had to switch my hair around first of all that went by so fast and i liked it i didn't really like break a sweat because i wasn't like running or doing any like you know exercises that got my heart rate up but my arms are killing me like it's hurting to hold this camera up so I really liked it I would love to do those more in the future maybe if I upgraded my membership I only have two classes a week right now I've really been considering doing the unlimited um, and then I could see myself doing those twice a week and then the other classes three times a week. Like I mentioned last night, I love creating shortcuts for myself whenever it comes to cooking. So last week I had my family over and I was making a really large batch of stuffed shells. So I knew I would have some extra, so I went ahead and froze them. So now all I have to do for dinner is make a pasta sauce, which can I just say, if you do not make your sauce from scratch, it's so easy. I feel like people misunderstand how easy it is to make any sort of pasta sauce. It's so simple. Let me break it down for you. You start with some olive oil in the pan and you add your onion. Let that sweat for a few minutes and then you add your garlic. You cook your garlic for about a minute or so and then you add your tomato sauce, whether that's crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes or tomato sauce, whatever your preference is, whole tomatoes, up to you. And then from there, you add your salt, pepper, and your spices, and then you let that simmer, and it's that easy. And once you get that down, then it's really easy to add variations. Whether you're adding white wine to the sauce or you're gonna add a meat to the sauce, it makes it so easy, and it takes maybe 10 minutes, guys, maybe 10 minutes. We'll get this going, we'll put it in the oven, and while it's in the oven, I think I'm gonna take the dogs on a walk. I don't know if you can hear them but they're just playing nonstop, so I feel like a walk would be really good for them. Currently. We're at my brother's, here's a little peek at what it looks like. It's coming together beautifully. That light fixture, I'm obsessed, I picked it out. But these are the countertops we're looking at that I think we're gonna put in our house as well. They're really affordable, which is like, the best part and everything's coming together it looks so good good morning i just got back from a doctor's appointment i was at um physical therapy for my pain i've been having and it was rough but it was good i really hope that will help with my pain for the next few days but i wanted to wrap up the vlog here because i'm going to go ahead and start a new video i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it was fun and chatty and just brought us back to our normal routine if you guys liked it be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're not and i'll see you in my next video bye